What's up guys, hope everyone is doing well. In this video, I'm gonna be going over some updates for Bitcoin. First off here is this six day chart here. I've been going, or not six day rather, six hour chart. Currently Bitcoin you can see is sitting right at the very top of the around eighth, nine month descending, broadening wedge or channel that you can see here. As I pointed out in one of my recent videos, this ascending support here denoted by this green trend line. Going all the way back to the beginning of August 2024, currently you can see right here, Bitcoin came down to on the side to 382, the Fibonacci retracement on here, uh, getting very close to this support. Again, this is all lining up as Bitcoin has broken for the first time out of and above this descending channel towards the prior local high of just around 73, 74K. Now it's coming down to retest that, this upper bound, which has been resistance for around nine months. Also, as well as you can see here, finding right now currently support within the 50 EMA um, band as well. The 200 EMA sits around 65.5. The most notable vector, the volume control zone here still sits at around 63 to 65K. So Bitcoin, let's say it doesn't find support here. Let's say that this isn't a textbook which I'll get to a higher time frame depiction of this this textbook this descending bullish pattern here broadening wedge or channel breaking out above coming down right now testing as I've been saying pointing to the uppermost the upper bound which has been resistance could this potentially be the key moment where we are going to see right now currently seeing the beginning beginning moments the onset of the support uh, flipping this long-term or medium-term resistance into support into the next and final impulse of this bull run. Here at the daily chart, again, we can still see um, parallel to that six-hour chart here on the daily from these uh, wick here of March 14th to June 7th of this year, the two wick local highs that really characterize the uppermost resistance of this descending structure. Again, very parallel to the 6R chart, Bitcoin sitting right along it on the daily. There's still, again, like I said, 62, 65K of Bitcoin. What does want to come down even further? There is some potential, especially Bitcoin continues to go a little bit lower, but stays above around 66.3. Very minor and in bullish divergent shaping up. The RSI getting above the 618, as you can see here, as I pointed out in prior videos, this has held it down ever since the beginning up here of this descending and wavering price action towards the downside is correction overall uh, within the broader bull market. Also in the six hour, you can s a little bit more discernibly see this potential hidden bullish divergence forming. It is technically here already, although it is minor. It's not the biggest um, difference in terms of, you can clearly see this is almost horizontal. Just, it, what's called an exaggerated hidden bullish divergence. But the fact that it is close to this RSI support, um, also breaking above the 618, and then also just breaking out of the descending channel it's been in for around nine months is really all could be painting a perfect storm for uh, textbook breakouts from patterns that have been denoted for decades within trading, which I'm really gonna exemplify here through this chart on the two day where we can see going all the way back to here on the far left the bottom of the prior and most recent bear market around november to december january to december 2022 beginning of 2023 where bitcoin is at just approximately 16k we then saw it move from that rough region to around 30k seeing about a double in price bitcoin then traded sideways finally broke out again Moved from 25k to around 75k, then tripling in price. And you can see here on the RSI that as Bitcoin moved up, went sideways for also around eight to nine months, very similar to what Bitcoin has done recently. Also just generally lining up with this breakout period as well at the end of this same time frame where we see again down here on the RSI, waivers downward, breaks below the median range here, sits there for a little bit and ultimately moves back up above the median and also breaks the RSI resistance. This then began the 25 to 75k approximately. It began this move. Um, and then with this most recent sideways, slightly downside price action we've seen with this descending broadening channel or wedge, we see this resistance here as well as Bitcoin tops out locally here around December to 
December 2023 to March of 2024. Waivers down, breaks the median zone. Um, prints a double bullish divergence here as Bitcoin was moving from around beginning of July to the beginning of September of this year. Again, so we saw this double bullish divergence. The RSI resistance was broken, and now Bitcoin has solidified since around mid-October, so around half a month or so. Trading above the median after breaking out of the RSI resistance and also being right at the top of the upper bound, which has been the resistance for this bull market, this healthy bull market correction for the last eight to nine months. Again, all being very, very similar to what happened back here during the end of the bear market from 15, 16K up to 30K. First impulse, sideways action, 25K, then 75K. Second impulse, now we're seeing eight to nine months sideways action, just healthy retracement. And then also same time, 2024 as to same time 2023 we're seeing the breaking out of the structure and all these key and crucial similarities but even further paint this picture if we look here at the macd showing a um associations to the momentum of bitcoin whereas we can see the rsi was explaining here the bollinger bands um conveys the sense of the velocity of price whereas the macd here showing the momentum and you can see that the momentum momentum swung as low as it's been um last time it got or was this low it goes all the way back to around july june july 2022 when bitcoin was hitting around 20k um towards the end of the prior bull market or bear market um and this is this recent downswing when bitcoin hit around 55 56k this was lower than when bitcoin was at 25k was lower than it when it was uh at 20k in March of 2023 and then lower than it was 15, 16 K towards the end of 2022, beginning of 2023. Um, again, similar, we'll see this descending structure here. Bitcoin breaks out of it as it's breaking the, um, key resistances of price. Again, this is all happening. As you can see the same time that it happened on the RSI Bitcoin then held the median of the momentum, which sits at the zero point. Even found support on that for the bounce uh, at the end of January 2024, which then went from around 40k to around 74, 75k. Since then, as you can see here, Bitcoin came down, has been trading convergently in this symmetrical triangle here. Recently broke out above it, came down and find found support almost perfectly, basically right up on top of this resistance, confirming it now as support. And then it also has broken above this horizontal line, which was the resistance for um, Bitcoin from February 2023 to April of 2023, when it was at around 25 to 30K for those local, those respective local highs. Um, and then, as I said, continued to come out and waver here below it, then breaking it here um, towards the end of October as the price was breaking the upper resistance here. Really all of these, just showing the confluence and really the symmetry um, when you go from up here. Obviously at the top, this is Bitcoin's price. You then look at the RSI, the velocity of price. You see something highly similar and corresponsive and confluential to what the price is printing. And then also again with the MACD, the momentum showing and aligning further with each of these derivatives of price as well. Um, so... Again, all this seems to be painting a picture that Bitcoin, this either, going back to this daily chart, what we're going to see here is Bitcoin is going to find support basically just roughly above here at around 66.5. might come down a little bit more like this and then bounce and go up. But either we'll see something like this or we'll see this vector zone down here met more solidly down to, like I said, approximately 63K. There is still a vector zone here at around approximately 58, 59K, but everything below that, there is no more vector um, potential in terms of the volume where the price could go. Going below that is 44, approximately 44 to 46, 47K, which I was very entertaining of uh, you know, going back months ago, as clearly, and especially as Bitcoin was still down here from the ranging of around July to September. Um, but so far at this point, with all of the resistances and the indicators and everything that have gone over thus far, seems that Bitcoin really just doesn't 
most recently doesn't want to go that way although it could like i said definitely i would say right now for me personally bottom of the barrel is approximately 58k um for a healthy correction but i would say more likely than not that it's going to respect this upper bound resistance here this range above around 60 around approximately 66k uh moving in here to this four day chart one of the major four day charts or just charts in general that i've gone over recently but i see this very beautiful trend support going all the way back to 2023 february finding support each and every single time breaking those resistances i pointed out again bitcoin is still struggling with the horizontal resistance on this four day chart right now we're seeing a rejection which as i said could end up being something similar to per perhaps uh what we saw back here during around the four-day period surrounding october 23 where perhaps we'll see for example something along these lines where this current red candle maybe will turn into green similar to this one right here uh, where it will stay red but ultimately it will then find support here still staying above around 66 67 68k like i was mentioning and then continue to go higher, further breaking 74, 75k, heading upwards towards 80k and higher would be the best case scenario right now. But as I said, definitely could see price go down to 58k. And anything below 58k is one that I will start to again entertain. Perhaps Bitcoin's going to go lower than approximately 50k, and then we'll even go down to that 43 to 46k region that I was I've also been talking about within the last six months. Again, here on this weekly chart, higher time frame, also seeing currently some resistance here along the horizontal, sitting at approximately 70k. There is this white high volume vector candle printed here, which also does affirm because there is no, there's nothing above that. These two vector or three vectors right here, Bitcoin completely recovered those with the move down to approximately 49k with this very large wick here. So there's nothing. On this weekly chart and this is the index chart having all the value or the data for bitcoin since it began uh, there's no reason really or not much reason at least in terms of what's most reasonable for bitcoin to go back down to 50k or even lower um, and where we will likely see something similar to how i pointed out here on this chart um, maybe just see like a small sh very short period weekly where bitcoin's just raining sideways and just moving down a little bit to test again, like I said, right here on the, the daily and the six hour. Um, and then we'll also ultimately just respect this white high volume vector candle that we have gotten here, which last time this happened on the weekly chart, um, clearly there's some right here as well. But if we go back to here, you can see the first impulse here for Bitcoin and then the sideways action. As soon as Bitcoin was going up and breaking, this prior sideways action right here. This was the first, as you can see, this white high volume vector candle printed, signifying the increasing of volume and, and the onset of an impulse. In this case, again, being what I think is the third and final impulse of this bull market. Looking here at this weekly chart, again, like I said, for the prior weekly chart, Bitcoin is finding some resistance here on the price. But if we look down here at the RSI, we can see that the RSI is coming right up to this resistance here. Um, currently seems as if it is facing rejection, but given that the new week just started, this could definitely change over the next roughly six days. Specifically, right now there's six days, 19 hours left. A lot could change over the next, especially as this week begins. Perhaps, you know, let's say, going back to the six hour chart here, or rather let's go to the daily. Bitcoin finds support within this rough region, best case scenario that I pointed out right here, and then it bounces up here and moves towards you know 77 maybe even upwards to 80k maybe even by the end of this week or you know by the end of this upcoming weekend um especially in a bull market i mean weekend trading and weekday trading typically has their specific uh quote unquote stereotypes and you know what's more likely to happen during weekdays and weekends but you know in a bitcoin bull market in a crypto bull market all that really can go up the window um is the price starts to ramp up in volatility um, and movement towards the upside. Looking here at this weekly chart again, still waiting for the RSI here to cross above this median threshold here. Um, as Bitcoin on the price is just sitting right now sideways, there's also on this weekly chart, and this is using the traditional candlesticks rather than the Heiken Ashes of the prior weekly chart. Also, 
we see this white vector gamma here, very similar to, um, doesn't show on this chart, but like I mentioned on the prior chart, similar to the way the Heike and Ashes were shown there as Bitcoin is breaking out, also creating right now, currently a small vector zone going down to approximately 68K. So again, as I was saying, this could potentially be the calm before the storm where Bitcoin is kind of stagnating sideways here, coming down and retesting this very important descending resistance as I've been pointing out, ultimately finding a bounce there and continuing to go higher towards approximately 200000 dollars give or take um, approximately $30,000. Um, and then finally, here is this chart that I want to point out. And I briefly mentioned this in a recent video, although I didn't specifically point it out on a chart. But each of these vertical lines are associated with the elections going all the way back to 2012 and as you can see each and every single time with the elections um in america that is obviously happening um november towards the end of the year generally just even without the context of the american elections the last you know three four months of the year for bitcoin historically is bullish is um good for bitcoin and as, as you can see here factor in the context of the elections makes it even more interesting than it already is given that each and every single time the election has happened this has marked the um short period leading into the full-on onset of a parabolic impulse towards the upside for bitcoin and one thing i do also again just want to point out here is which this, uh, this trend line i had on the prior chart but i just want to redraw it here um as well as where you can see Connecting the highs here for so far both of these impulses with the first impulse being here, second impulse of the bull market being here, and then this third one upcoming is going to be larger than the prior two where each time, as I mentioned, from 15 to 30k it's a doubling, from 25k to 75k it's a tripling, and then from here we're going to see 50k um, upwards towards approximately 200k being a quadrupling in price. And given that this is the final impulse and parabolic move of the bull market, you know, definitely could push up to around 230k, like I've been saying, which is also has a analytical and technically grounded basis in the historical Fibonacci retracements going all the way back to the um, second cycle of Bitcoin, according to my model or theory that I apply to Bitcoin that I've gone over plenty of times in recent videos. But outside of this, this was all that I wanted to go over in this video. So as always, hopefully you enjoyed. Again, this is meant to be financial advice and all that being said and all gone over. I hope you all have a wonderful day.